So welcome, thanks for watching. My name is Michiel, I'm a Bitnami support engineer and I'm going to show you how to check your SSL configuration. For this tutorial I'm going to assume that you have a Bitnami WordPress cloud instance, you have SSH access and at some point you have issued a certificate. So the first thing we're going to check is if the certificate is valid and working. Then we're going to check that the domain is pointing to the instance's IP address. After that we're going to check that the certificate links inside the main Apache configuration file are pointing to the certificate and that the certificate permissions are correct. And finally we're going to check if the certificate and the key match. So first I want to show you how you can check that the certificate is valid. I've got my WordPress application created on Bitnami Cloud Hosting and I've issued a Let's Encrypt certificate using the Generate Certificate script and I want to check if it's working. So I'm using Chrome, I go to my website, uh, of course I have to go to the HTTPS and as you can see here on the left there's a lock icon, if you click on that you directly see that the connection is secure. It's green, so that means that the certificate is valid. If you click here on certificates, then you can see that the certificate has been issued by Let's Encrypt. So everything seems correct in this case. So sometimes you see a warning here. I will show it. It says the connection to the site is not fully secure. But that does not mean that the certificate isn't valid. As you can see here, it shows up as valid. So what's going on? Well, this post has some mixed content in it, which is a, an image with an HTTP URL. So all you need to do is change that to an HTTPS URL and then your site will show up as secure. The next thing I want to show you is how to check if the domain name is pointing to the right IP address. You can do that with the host command plus the domain name. So this is the IP address the domain is pointing to. Now there's a little trick to check the IP address of your instance quickly. As you can see the IP address is the same as the one the domain is pointing to. Now we need to do the same as well for www as that is a subdomain and it can have a different IP address. As you can see, it's the same. So in this case, that's correct. So let's check if the links in the Apache configuration file are pointing to the certificates. Actually, in Bitnami's text, these links are pointing to either the default cell signed dummy certificate or two symbolic links that point to the real certificate. I've created a Let's Encrypt certificate, so in my case, these symbolic links should point to the real certificate files. I'll use the cat command to read the main Apache configuration file. Oh, it should be there. And I'm going to filter with grep. So these are the links inside the Apache configuration file. As you can see they point here. So 
so I'm just going to check with the ls commands where they are pointing to. As you can see here, they are pointing to my certificate files, which are in opt, bitnami, let's encrypt certificates. So let's check the um, permissions of the certificates. We can do that with the same command. As you can see, they should have uh, read and write permissions for the owner and read permissions for the group and for the rest. We are also going to check the key. So that would be the same ls command, but instead of the certificate, we're going to check the key. And this also has the same permissions. So in this case, it's correct. As a final check, we want to see if the certificate and the key are matching. To, to do this, we need to cd into opt bitnami apache conf, which is where the symbolic links that point to the certificate files are. And we're going to use the OpenSSL command to check if both are matching. We're going to start with the certificates and we want to output it as a public key. Well, actually, as the public key is very long, uh, we're going to output it as a hash, which is shorter and easier to compare. So this is the hash of the public key of the server certificates. Now we're going to do the same, but with the key. And as you can see, both are the same. So in this case, it's correct. So that's all. Thank you for watching.